111 honors is the highlight of my year. This day and seeing what you're doing is the highlight of it. Thank you so much. These are our digital natives. They're doing a lot of these technologies. At some level, they're wondering why we're not as instructors and as a university, we're not incorporating this technology. Well, a lot of times it's simply, we don't know it's there. Instead of just saying, well, sit down, shut up, and do the way we've told you, this is empowering. The reason it's so important to have a student's take on implementing educational technologies is because at the end of the day, it's the students who are going to be using these technologies. So if it doesn't work for the students, they're not going to use it, and they're not going to be invested in using the technology, in which case it's going to flop in the classroom. I think it's important to have a student's perspective because we are the um, people that are dealing with the problems and we can pick up on them and see the gaps that are missing and then that's how we create the technology to fill those gaps that we see. Mostly everyone has a laptop or a tablet or a smartphone and so if we're not embracing technology you may fall behind the curve. And so I think it's really important to bring technology into the classroom and just really like take that as an opportunity to expand on like what students are learning. There are some different applications we've seen here today, such as immersion technology, immersion in 3D worlds, virtual worlds that we've never really been able to do before. And it's a sort of creative twist on what is possible in the classroom. And I feel like it's students that bring that really sort of creative, out of the box approach to what can be used for learning and teaching. Think about what's happening, that you're not just a passive learner, you're not just sitting in a class, that your knowledge is making a difference, you're changing the way we teach.